I want to deal with a topic entitled, Watch Your Mouth. Watch your mouth. All right, Titus chapter 2 verse 1 states the following. It says this, But as for you, speak the things which are proper for sound doctrine. Speak the things which are proper for sound doctrine. Now, what does that mean? It means, speak what is in the Word. Sound doctrine is the Bible. Okay? The Bible is our doctrine. It is what we follow. It is what we live by. Now, it is so important that we speak sound doctrine. It comes out of our mouth. Why is that significant? Let me tell you why. Because what's in the heart, the mouth's going to speak. Whatever comes out of the mouth, you are going to have. God has decreed it and made it that every time we speak, we will receive whatever we sow. And so if you don't declare and bring life into a situation, you are going to bring death into a situation. So whatever comes out of your mouth is going to then produce whatever you said it will produce. And so if you are going to speak against God's word, you are going to then reap that in your life. If you're going to speak in line with God's word, you are going to reap that in your life. And so saints, I want to encourage you. Go and do what God's word says we must do. And that is speak life. When you speak, you are going to receive whatever comes out of your mouth. But the problem is this. Many times we do not speak sound doctrine. We are not speaking what's in the word. We are speaking what's in our emotions. We might even be speaking what we think is the right thing to say. But it does not mean that it's the word of God. It does not mean that it's in the word. It does not mean that that's what we should be saying. So we need to be careful that when we speak, we don't contrary what's in the Bible. Okay? That's why it's so important that we need to know what the Word says. Because remember that that is our foundation. The Word of God is our foundation. We do everything, follow everything, and abide by everything that's in the Word. So this morning I want to challenge us. I want to challenge each and every one of us. Are you prepared? Are you ready to have the word of God come out of your mouth? Are you ready to line up with sound doctrine and see the power of God, the blessing of the Lord, be made manifest in your life? Are you ready to see the power of God operating like you've never seen before? You see, this is very important. Because as you speak, life comes out, power comes out, destiny comes out, purpose comes out of your mouth. And when you do that, the power of God is seen around you. And so this morning I want to ask us, are we prepared to line up with the word? Are we prepared to speak the word in Jesus' name? Amen? So, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you, take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for a physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. And so this morning, saints, I want to challenge us. Let us speak sound doctrine. Lord, right now we come before you. We ask you, please, to forgive us of any wrongdoing in Jesus' name, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, any wrong intention. But Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your destiny. I thank you for your purpose. Lord, I thank you that in the mighty name of Jesus, we are not going to be the same again. And Lord, I thank you for your covenant, the power of the Holy Spirit that flows in our lives. But God, I pray right now that you're going to help us to put a guard over our mouths. Lord, that we will speak the word. We will speak life. We will speak destiny. We will speak purpose. We will speak the word of God over our lives and over our families in Jesus' name. 
Lord, that we will not allow the devil any foothold in Jesus' name. We release the power of God. We release the anointing of God over us. Lord, I pray that as we take of the elements, Lord, that you will saturate us, bless us, anoint us this morning. And Lord, that we will see the power of God operating. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. We release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we are healed. Lord, we release the power of God over every symptom and command it to go. Lord, I thank you that by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing as ours. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, it's Monday. I trust that you are ready for a wonderful day, ready to do what God has called you to do this week. Now, I've got a very important announcement. Tomorrow, all right, during the day, I'm going to be cutting a video to explain why people are, we are not seeing God necessarily move and we've been praying over stuff in our nation. All right, people have been asking, why is it that we are not seeing God move in a miraculous way over our nation? We are praying and praying, seeking God. Why is it that we're not seeing this? I'm going to deal with that tomorrow. So please get ready for that announcement. Okay, after communion, I'm going to put out a short video. I'm going to ask you please to send that far and wide. It is going to help us, strengthen us and get us ready for the next wave. In other words, the next season as we come into this election time. So I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to answer the question. Why does it look like God is not moving? Even if the church is praying. And I know the church has been praying. Since COVID, the church has been praying. All right, wherever I go, the prayer meetings are getting more and more. What I'm excited about is that we are going to start seeing the miracles now. All right, I believe that this is the season and I believe that this is the time. And I will explain. The other thing that I want you please to know, and that is this. Please know that we are releasing, today we're going to be releasing the schedule for when we are going to be praying in the provinces. We're going to be doing two major things over these elections. Number one, we are going to release uh, uh, the schedule where we're going to go from province to province, and we are going to come and have a group prayer meeting for every province. So please, I want you to be part of that. Janina and myself are going to be traveling all over. And I'm trying to get some politicians, people who carry that authority and mantle already, to come and pray with. All right? So we're going to be moving from province to province over this nation. So please check the schedule. It's going to go out today. Book the date and the city. Please try and get there. Let's fill these venues. Now, it's not about just having a mass of people. It's about people representing their areas. And as we stand together, we are going to call the power of God down into your province. And we're going to believe God for the supernatural. Then, we're deciding still 30 or 40 days before election, I'm going to be doing a daily uh, uh, WhatsApp prayer over the nation. We're going to be doing a WhatsApp prayers over the nation like we did before, over this election time. And we are going to release those things over the nation for 40 odd days or 30 odd days we're going to decide still. But I want you to know, we are going to start covering this nation in prayer for these elections. This is a critical time. This is a critical time for the church. This is a critical time for South Africa. I've never yet seen the amount of spiritual onslaught ever, and we've been through some stuff already, around Anybody who's in national leadership. Alright, it's not just us, it's all over. People are under tremendous spiritual attack right now. Why? Because there is a fight for South Africa. Okay, and so we are going to trust God for the supernatural, the power of God, the anointing of God to saturate and to absolutely move across this nation. So saints, get ready for this. It's going to be an amazing journey. 
So get ready. We are going to pray. And we are going to open that atmosphere. And we are going to restrict any form of the devil's work and plan. All right? And we are going to see the power of God move in this nation. Amen. All right, it's Monday. I want to remind you that tonight we are going to be going. Um, we've got our Bible college at 6.30. Get ready for that. And I'll be doing kings and priests at 7.30. If you're a business person, join us. We're sending out the Zoom links. Then the other thing I want to say is that we are busy with um, uh, the Turkey tour. I want to remind you that I'm going to Turkey in May. I'm taking a lot of time to do research on the seven churches. I've thought on it in the book of Revelation, but I want to make sure that when you go to Turkey, you come back totally, totally infused, generated, ready to go to do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. So please get ready for that. It's going to be an amazing, amazing time. So if you want to join us, okay, we've only got 10 spots left. Okay, well, we had 10 spots the weekend. I don't know if we still have. We've only got 10 spots left for that tour. So please get ready for that. If you want to, just send a, an email to Believers at Father's Heart. We'll send you the info. All right, so let's pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray first of all for Israel. God, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, I thank you that this war come to an end quickly in Jesus' name. But Lord, I thank you that you will minister to each and every one who is unsaved on both sides. Lord, that you'll give them an experience, an encounter with you. Lord, that they will come and serve you and stay connected in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for a supernatural move of your spirit in this, in this war and in this time. And Lord, I thank you that it will come to an end quickly and abruptly in the name of Jesus. But God, I pray for South Africa. I lift up our nation before you. Lord, I call the prophetic words over our nation. I thank you, Lord, that our nation will stand up. Thank you, Lord, for every believer that is reporting for duty. Every believer that is ready to go make a difference in this nation. Lord, I pray right now that you are going to let each and every one of us fulfill what you've called us to do. And Lord, that we will report for duty and we will come and pray and we will seek your face and we will see the power of God move like never before in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the supernatural move of your spirit. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to do something amazing in this nation through the church, through the believers, as we speak life, destiny, and peace over this nation. Father, I pray for our businesses, that each and every business is blessed. Every business is prosperous. Every business is doing well because we are praying and building the altars. Father, we thank you for your blessing and anointing. In Jesus' mighty name, we release the power of God. We release the glory of God over our nation and over our families. And over our businesses, in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray for every single person that is on the road. Lord, all of the politicians that are busy um, canvassing. Lord, and are busy in this, in this time. Father, I pray your protection over them. Everybody who's going to meetings, we pray the protection over the public. And Lord, we thank you that the blessing of God and the peace of God be seen over our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said... Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to bless you. I love you lots. And I want to say this. It's an honor to be part of God's army. Amen. All right. Let's get to our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, Petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go and keep those atmospheres open and go and do what Jesus has called you to do. Amen and amen. I love you lots.